Hello and welcome back to the Overshield Interviews. My name is Andrew, of course, and today we have a very special guest. Special guest, would you like to introduce yourself? Of course. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Sayla and I am a cosplayer. Alright, awesome. So, first question, what got you into cosplay? What made you want to do that? Well, in 2011, my friend asked me if I wanted to join her in her yearly trip to Fan Expo in Toronto. And I was, uh, well, of course I said, sure, right? Because I really enjoyed anime and gaming at that time. And, well, it's a place for anime lovers and gamers to unite. And she wanted to do a Final Fantasy Ten uh, Two cosplay of the Yuna and Len Songstress outfits. So we made that together. And that was my first cosplay. And ever since then, I've really enjoyed cosplaying. Awesome. And of all the cosplays that you've done, which one has been one of your favorites or some of your favorites? I'd have to say my Caitlyn one is my favorite because that's the one I spent the most time on and I wanted to promote the most. Just just out of curiosity, uh, you make all of your own costumes? Uh, most of them I make, but there are some that I've bought because of time shortages and I had no time before I go to the conventions. For example, the uh, Megrini and Luca one, that one I, I bought, and some parts of the Caitlyn I also bought. What are some of your future cosplays that you're looking to do? I'm definitely going to do Airs of Scarlet and Kitty Katarina from League of Legends for uh, Anime North this year. And I am hoping to do more League of Legends in the future. And I also am doing uh, an old tier cosplay to match Jelly Cosplay's Meredy when I come back from China this summer. And I'm also planning to do a High School of the Dead group cosplay with my developing cosplay group. Awesome, awesome. You do have a fan book face, or a, a, a Facebook fan page. <laughs> yep. Um, would you ever take any suggestions from any of your fans? Yeah, of course. I'm open to suggestions because um, even before I started my page, I would post on Facebook a couple times, hey guys, what cosplay do you think I should do? And that's actually how I got the idea to do High School of the Dead. Well, that's awesome. Anyone who wants to check out her links, I'll post them down in the description below. You did say you were a gamer, as this is a gaming yep. website. What kind of games are you into? Oh, wow. I have a huge list. <laughs> <laughs> but the I guess my top three at the moment are League of Legends, Hearthstone, and Diablo 3. So a lot of a lot of MMO type of games. Yeah, Not MMO. I, I love MMOs. I've been playing them for many, many years. Fair enough. I myself am an avid LOL player. Yeah. Uh, in terms of console games, what do what are that what kind of that stuff are you into? Um, I don't really play my PS3 anymore, but when I did, I played so much Call of Duty, like <laughs> so much Call of Duty. It was it was my life and the downfall of my grades, but I was really into it a couple of years ago. So. Fair enough. And I also have um, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, which my friend got me into, and I played that for a little bit as well. That's awesome. Now, is there anything that's coming out down the pipeline in terms of games that you're looking forward to? Uh, after Portal 2, I am really hoping for a Portal 3 to come out, because I love Portal. It is the most amazing game that I have ever seen. And um, maybe I'll play some Final Fantasy, is it uh, 14? Yeah, 14. Final Fantasy 14. Um, hopefully there will be a Guild Wars 3 and a Diablo 4. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to more of these series. So being a cosplayer, this is maybe just me assuming, but um, what are some of your favorite animes? Um, right now, my absolute, absolute favorite is Fairy Tale. I love Fairy Tale. I have watched every episode like twice, and I've read the manga too. And it's just, it's just amazing how it is written, and all the characters are developed, and it's a really, really fun manga and anime. And everybody should watch it because it, it's awesome. Um, you... The past, oh. I've uh, sorry. <laughs> In the past, I've I've been really into Soul Eater. That was a really good one too. Um, the anime was really exciting, and I guess there are other little ones I also enjoyed, like Shingeki no Kyojin and SAO. I, I couldn't even pronounce that if I tried. <laughs> um, I have to pronounce it right, I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, are you a dub or sub kind of person? Definitely sub. Uh, in my opinion, the sub 
makes it a lot more uh how do i say this like i guess it's a lot more authentic because you are hearing the actual characters chosen for these roles in japan and even though sometimes the sub may be a little off it still feels more right if you know what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah i get you and just kind of bring it full circle in terms of cosplaying what advice would you give other people in general because sometimes it can be kind of scary having to go to this convention since people looking at you sometimes the what you're wearing is a bit revealing etc cetera, etc cetera. um that's a good question uh, well, when I went to Fan Expo with my friend the first time, uh, she was like, oh, a lot of people are going to take pictures of you. And I was like, oh my god, that's a little scary. <laughs> but after actually being there and getting into the whole vibe of the convention, it was totally calming and not pressuring at all. And for um, cosplayers beginning, I would say start out with something easier to make like don't go for like the fancy armor from diablo or starcraft or something it's better to start out with cloth and work your way up fair enough all right thank you for doing this no problem this, this is fun <laughs> this has been andrew for the overshield.com and we'll see you next time bye-bye now bye-bye